it seems a lot of the world's seas are in trouble, even here in New Zealand, at the bottom of the world. Could ancient Indigenous Māori practices be the solution? About a thousand years ago, the Hauraki Gulf was the Yellowstone National Park of the international marine ecosystems. There are very few places in the world that have life like we have here in the Hauraki Gulf on the back doorstep of a large city like Auckland. When we use the word Māori, he taonga tēnā, you know, a, a treasure, we do see the Hauraki Gulf as a living thing to be treasured. When the first New Zealanders stepped off the waka around 1250, they met a place of unbelievable abundance. If you look at the ocean right now, if you're out on a boat or you're strolling along the beach, everything looks hunky-dory. <laughs> it's not until you get under the waves where you start to see where we've absolutely wrought devastation. It's a graveyard out there. Literally you see no fish at all. Nothing. So. It was almost like overnight, the flounders disappeared. So when I asked mum what's for breakfast, it was wheat bits and, and a bit of um, off milk. And we're going, wait, what's wrong? Something's wrong here. It's at the tipping point, and if we don't do something very quickly, we're going to lose a whole bunch of different animals from that, and that's going to affect everybody. It's not fair to say that governments have not done anything in the past. They've actually done quite a few things, they just haven't done enough. Is this the right and proper way for human beings to be interacting with the waters around New Zealand? There's more and more realisation that indigenous cultures and practices actually support a better environment and a better space for everyone to live in. And for Westerners to come along in the last hundred years and try to say, oh, no, 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 you know, you got it all wrong. Uh, we know what we're doing. Well, we, if we know what we're doing, how come we're in such a damn mess? You know? <laughs> so it's well past time that we respected the indigenous science of the land that we stand on. And if a country like New Zealand can't get on top of our share of the world's environmental problems, then who can? For me as Minister of the Environment and Minister of Oceans and Fisheries, I really feel that New Zealand show that we can make progress so that rather than being another source of despair in the world, we're a source of hope that other countries can look to to see that you can do better and that you can live a healthy, prosperous lifestyle without ruining the environment. Republic Films presents Seasick, Saving the Hauraki Gulf.